That's a, that's a good question. I, I, I guess I'd have to answer that question by saying why I came back. I came back because of the imprint that the state left on me. Um, I was sitting in the dining hall of Yale Law School one day, and a New York fellow law student came up to me and said, Myron, aren't you going to New York? You know, it's third year of law school. And I said, uh, no, I'm, I'm going back to Alabama. And she said, I know why you're going back to Alabama. She said, uh, you want to be a big fish in a small pond. <laughs> I said, uh, that is an absolute lie, and I'm insulted, and I can't imagine that anyone would ever say that to me. She walked away, and I realized she was telling the truth. <laughs> My, my stepfather had been the field secretary for the NAACP. My mother was very active in voting rights. And, and I was probably the only kid at the law school, perhaps in the country, whose mother called him up one day and said, I understand you're going to New York. And she said, uh, what about your people back down here? And uh, that's really, uh, Alabama had that impact. It was I'm not sure that I see myself as teaching other parts of the country. I think I have enough to deal with at home. After having spent almost 40 years on the bench, um, and I've seen all aspects of Alabama, from its mental health system, to its prison system, to its education system, um, there's a lot to be done. There's a lot still to do. And the reason I came back here was not because I thought that Alabama was inferior uh, or that other parts of the country were better. I don't think that advances anything. Uh, I know that Alabama has a lot to do, and I'm a fellow Alabamian, and it's my responsibility to help do something about it. The two most important people in my life were two teachers. One teacher in particular, when I was in the third grade, and I had heard someone say to my mother, this kid has polio, what are you gonna do with him? Are you gonna take care of him? Who suddenly said to me in the third grade, you can do better. She moved me from the C reading group to the A reading group, and I not only did it, but I did excel, I'd excel. Just one teacher, one damn teacher made all the difference in the world. I was number one from then on in my class all the way through high school when I went, ended up, as I said, going to Yale. And I just, I just credit her. I mean, I, I could either be a cripple or I could be, you know, someone who excelled. And that's, this state has that type of richness to it.